Hi, today's video is on uh, the reassembly of your crankcase and your crankshaft. Um, what I've noticed with these crankcases on the seagulls is when they're actually put together there's no gasket in between these crankcases and in along here they can leak. If you look down in there you might see you see that crack. Now it should close like that. Some of them have been known to open, particularly here where the tiller arm is. Um, if they're dropped, this can actually slightly bend and create a slight crack there. As as a, there's no there's no actual gasket in there. So what I actually do is put in a bit of instant gasket in between the two of them when I'm reassembling. Um, so the first thing is what I like to do is with the actual crankshaft is get a little bit of a uh, two stroke oil for the seagulls I like to use proper outboard two stroke two stroke oil try not to use the other stuff because they're on at different temperatures um, so we have two bronze bushes one here in the lower crankcase and one here in the upper crankcase so what I like to do is just so she'll run good from the start is just coat the crank the crank shaft in a little bit of two stroke oil just up the upper area the lower area the other them And I'll be putting a little bit on the piston later when it goes into the block. So we just put that aside there. Next I'll put the instant gasket here on one side of the crankcase. Now we only need to apply a light amount. We don't want to be going too mad because it will it will actually if you have too much it'll actually come inside here inside in the crankcase we don't want too much of that going on to the inside at all so we just put enough to get a nice seal as I said none of these seagulls actually have a gasket as far as I know a gasket in between these two crankcases and I have seen some of them when they're running even blown bubbles out of them <laughs> believe it or not to be kind of spitting out of the the, uh, the the two seals between the two of them without the the gasket or, or some sort of in, instant gasket at, at least you could probably make up your own gasket if you want I find that the instant gasket does does a good job too so with that now well on the whole so, making surface there and what I like to do is just take off any excess that's come on to the inside here down from here, pull off any excess that's inside. We'll be able to check that later when we put these crankcases back together. So that's that side of it done, that's actually the lower section. So with that, we can put in our crankshaft down into our lower case, simply slides in. And just try and have your con rod here coming out this section here just makes it handier to to put it together that's the lower crankcase there the crankshaft and then when you get the upper case simply slide it down over again um, there is actually two notches here there's a notch here that will go into that and it'll actually align it for you sometimes these can be missing if it has been replaced um, you can see there now there's a good spread of instant gasket in between these crankcases. You're going to have to have a good crankcase seal for these two strokes just to get up there. Get the right mixture going in around back into the main block. So there we have the two together. And we'll just check. Yeah, that spins quite easily there. And we've a little bit of two stroke to help. 
little bit of two stroke oil on the um on the crankshaft to help uh, seal the bushes as well so I'll just drop in four studs uh, these are studded from the top so this is the, the upper crankcase your flywheel is going to go on here put the stud in at the top just slide it in all the way and we can tight, tighten in the nuts from the underneath so we have the four of those this is actually off of a, a featherweight um, but the 40 plus will actually only have the four as well on this so it's just a little smaller one 64 cc piston so we just want to get our nuts back on here definitely if you're having running issues check you'll see when it's running just check along that line there and you'll see if it's actually leaking out of that crankcase it's not a big job to take these apart just just takes a little bit of time and take the time to do it don't be rushing through it so we have three four of these only just hand tighten first until we get our socket onto it now we lightly tighten these do it diagonally don't don't go straight in one after another just lightly tighten them it's the same with the motorbikes when you're putting the crankcase together just gradually tighten them in you don't need to be going to, you don't need to be going too mad at the start otherwise you'll have, you'll have one side of the crankcase tightened down to the absolute maximum and the rest of it won't align won't tighten down as good for you they're getting there now Get a spanner there on that side. That's good and tight there now. All the doors are well tightened. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And as you can see, there's the, the engine number. The seagull outboard number F for featherweight 1608GG3. Now I haven't actually checked that, but I'd say it's probably 17, 1973. Um, so what I do then is just get a rag and clean off the excess. Clean off the excess on the outside first, then to be getting it on your hands. And we'll have a quick check on the inside as well. Just tidies it up. You don't have to clean it off, but it will go everywhere. Like so, just check it. That's nice and tidy. Nice tidy finish down out on that crankcase. Um, what I do is look inside. You probably won't be able to pick it up there on the camera. Just grab another light there. Probably won't pick it up. There's actually a good seal in there, and there's no excess gone to the inside. So that's it, and it turns quite freely. And that's it, you have your crankcase back together. Definitely check that seal if you're having issues, um, and when you're putting it back together. So that's ready now for, for the block. There's my head put back on, and I've done a head gasket. I have another video on how to remove these studs and getting your head gasket back on how to reuse that now this needs to paint up before I put this back together so it will be going on back in that way that's the top of a block that's the bottom with the exhaust port here and this is where our water runs up our piston will be going back in like that and remember if you do go putting your piston on that it's it's the tapered side is on your exhaust side and the longer end is the top end. 
I'll do another video on these um on the piston rings there as well and maybe conrod as well so that'll cover most of that section. Um that's that's it for today anyway. That's that one. Uh I will be doing a block assembly as well. Another video on that one. So uh that's it. Uh like and subscribe and thanks for watching.